Well, welcome to the, my third video on the double bit. Uh, what we've done in the first two lessons is we've looked at the takeout double in the first video, most useful, uh, the most common form of double. In the second lesson, we looked at the penalty double, typically of one no trump when you've got 16 or more points. But there are other situations in bridge where double is very useful and, in fact, the best bid you can make. So today we're going to look in this video at how you can use double when you're too strong to overcall. So really, when you overcall one of a suit, a five-card suit promises six points, yeah, if you're not vulnerable, you might have as many as 17, 18 points if it goes one club and say you overcall one spade. But what about everyone? If you've got 19 or more points and a five-card suit, what do you think you do with that type of hand? Well, you're too strong to overcall because you might well miss out on a game. So what you do is you start with a double, yeah? Um, start with a double. Partner thinks it's a takeout double. That's fine. And SOS does not apply. No, you don't have to be short in the opponent's suit. Yeah. You don't have to have three cards. You just need to have your 19 plus points at a five or six card suit. When partner responds, which they always will, then you bid your own suit. And that then gives part of the message that you were too strong to overcall. So it's quite subtle. Uh, but I think if we play through this hand that I've lined up for you, and we can all see what's going to happen. So we'll just look at this hand here. Now, East is the open. They've got 11 points. So would you open with the East hand? Well, the answer is yes. It passes the rule of 20. You've got 11 points added to the number of cards in your two longest suits. Yeah, so it actually comes to 21, doesn't it? So you can open one heart. And here we go. You've got 19 points as south. What would you do with that apart from panic? Have a little think about it. 19 points. Well, I know some people, uh, some players out there, they might bid uh, They might bid one no trump. They might bid two no trumps, but they don't have a hard stopper. That's not suitable. They might bid one spade, but that only shows 17, 18 points. You might well miss a game. Some players out there might bid two spades. But we play that as a weak jump over call now, five to 10 points. And even if you were playing as a strong jump over call, that would show 16 or more points with a six card suit. So here we go, everyone. Surprise, surprise. It's a double. Pass from West. And you'll notice that that's, uh, SOS does not apply. Yeah. You don't, you're not short in hearts and you only have a doubleton club, but you're doing it on points. Now, North thinks it's a normal takeout double. So they duly respond to clubs. Longest suit at the lowest level, yeah. East is well out of it, so passes. And south, well, what would you bid with the south hand with your 19 points? Well, what you do now is you reject partners two clubs and you bid two spades. There we go. This is the crucial bid. And only at this point does North now understand, gets the message, that you are too strong to overcall one spade. You double first and then bid your own suit in bridge. It's not something I thought up this morning just to keep you all amused. It's a standard thing in bridge, whether you play Akol or standard American. Right, so North, armed with this information, what do they do next, do you think? Have a little think about that. Six points. You know that South has a five-card spade suit, at least, sometimes six, and they've got 19 or more points. Well, very well done if you bid straight to four spades. Knowing you've got the fit and you must have at least 25 points per game. Excellent. Well, let's try and make four spades now. Uh, well, West, what does West lead? Always good to have a lead problem. Well, given that East opened one heart, West should lead their suit. And it's top of a doubleton, isn't it? So we start with the king. I would never lead... King 10 doubleton if partner hadn't bid the suit, by the way. Very dangerous lead otherwise. But if partner's open the bidding with one heart, you should lead their suit. Right, let's play the hand. King of hearts wins the trick, followed by the 10. Here we go. So, efficient defence. No point continuing hearts with East. So they switch to dummy's weakest suit. Nearly always the best thing to do. So they switch to the top of a doubleton. Yep. 
I'm going to win. Doesn't really matter what I win with. I'm going to win with the ace. Slightly better to win with the ace there. You know, don't let the opponents know what other cards you have. But they're all the same, aren't they? Ace, king, queen. And what are you going to do next, as declare? You've just won the ace of diamonds. Do you draw trumps or do you do something else? Have a little think about that. Well, this is the main time in bridge that you delay drawing trumps. It's when you can create a void in dummy. And actually, the void in dummy has been created for us on this occasion by the opponents. So we can play the jack of hearts. There's no point trumping with West because I'm just going to over trump. So they discard a club. And I can rough low because I know East has plenty of hearts left. Very good. So this was the most important thing to do. I've created one extra trick by roughing in dummy. OK, what are you going to do next? Well, now we should definitely draw the trumps. But do we start with the jack or do we start with the nine? Well, it's the higher card from the shorter holding, isn't it? To avoid the suit being blocked. So we start with the knave. I'm counting out the trumps. There's five out there. And oh dear, the trumps have divided 4-1. But that's no problem. Yeah, I can still draw them out. So let's go with the ace. And the king of spades. Uh, there we go. Now we can play our winning diamonds. We're coasting now towards the end. Followed by the queen. We can play a trump just for good measure in case the opponents throw something. But no, quite difficult now. Yes, but East remembers that Declara doesn't have any hearts left. Yeah, so they can throw their ace of hearts. But good play by Declara there, playing off their trump, you'll notice giving the opponents a chance to go wrong. Because had East discarded the Queen of Clubs, then our Ace, Jack and Dummy would both be winners. We'd have made one extra, an over trick. So now we can play a club to the Ace. And give up the last trick to the opponents. But there you go. Ten tricks taken. It says 420. It means 620. We're vulnerable. <coughs> so there, yes, four spades bid and made. The key point of that hand, of course, is to take away is when you've got 19 or more points and a five card suit start with a double and then bid your own suit and partner will get the message that you were hand that was too strong to overcall one spade or whatever in the first place and on our final video which will be the fourth video we're going to look at protective doubles as well where actually when you're when you're weaker than you might normally be to try and get partner into the bidding so that's going to be our final double in lesson four. But I do hope you enjoyed that short video. And of course, my weekly lessons every Monday uh, with LearnBridge Online for Intermediates and every Wednesday for Improvers and Beginners on Wednesday afternoon at two o'clock. Uh, there we go. Bye for now.